Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. We are about to do something I have not done in the game yet. I'm going to declare a war. We're going to declare two wars actually. We're going to declare our first war. Let's switch to the right uh, section. We're declare our first war on... That's not what I meant to do. Uh, we're going to declare our first war on Republican Spain. And we're going to aim to uh, take pretty much all we can from them. And we're going to declare a second war for on National Spain and do the same. So, let's start declaring. Let's declare on Republican Spain first. Do they have allies? They have volunteers from the Soviet Union, but no other allies. Okay. The military access, no allies. Non-aggression pacts with the Soviet Union. Okay. I want to declare. No war goal to just. Oh, we need to wait a day. There we go. We got our justification. Declare. Conquer. We have no allies. Could we get an alliance with uh, the Soviets? Before we go? Um, where's alliance? We have no... I guess we'd have to join the same faction. They would not accept. They're very close, actually, but not quite. Um, okay. We're going to just declare. Uh, this might go really badly. This might be the end of the series, effectively. Who knows? We're going to declare. Conquer. That's our war goal. 2% world tension. Declared. We're also at the same time going to declare a nationalist Spain who, again, have no uh, allies. We're just going to declare. Conquer. Done. We're now at war with everything. Uh, activate the war plan. See how it goes. He said it, He said he thinks it's a good idea. Air wings with no mission. Okay, so we have some air wings we want to do. Uh, close air support. What do we want to do with them? Can we say be in this area? Okay, tactical bombers. Uh, what do we want to do with you? Maybe we want you to be in this area, in the Madrid area. Let's see if that works. Uh, back to uh, Sol like back to the what's it called? The default map mode, which is kind of army view. Let's see uh, how things are going. We want a little bit of our flank, of our front there. The top one's going to be our most difficult one, but it should be fine. Um, we're pushing our way forward. Slowly, but we are. Yeah, we're making our way into Spain. Portugal's almost doubled in size already. Fantastic. Um, right, so I'm happy with our front line being there. These guys are pushing forward. Do you want, are any of these guys near built? Maybe this guy's near built. He's in Porto. We'll uh, get them. We'll hopefully add them to the uh, like list of things. He has too many people under his army. Uh, what does that do for him? That means he's not efficient. So this one troop... Uh, wait. You're not under any army either. We need a new army, basically, is what we're saying here. Okay, new army. Uh, can we get a commander? We need a new commander. There we go. Arthur A. Uh, Mones. What we're going to do is we're going to say all you guys uh, in fact all of you guys all you guys there you are all part of this army. Wait, can I do that? I guess what I want to do is I want to select the this army lower the front line. So I want to just select this lot up here and I want to lower the front line. So I want to say uh, right click and grab the mouse on the existing front line endings to move. Oh, it's something like that. Yeah, there we go. Want it to be something like that, okay? And then we want to say all of you guys. Let's see, we want to create a new army. We do have a new army. Just got this one guy in it currently. We're going to create a front line. It goes all the way along here. Then we're going to assign everybody who we currently don't have assigned to that front line. And it's going to be led by Arthur Monte Mones. You are in the top one. Uh, so that means we've now got 16 and 15. Seems about right, except that these guys are going to be assigned to the top. As are you. Cool. Let's see how that shakes things up. So we have one line, it's just a front line built up, 
purely to just try and stop the other, like stop Spain coming into our new territory. Then we have the top bit up here for pushing into Spain. We're going to build our new front line up the top here, and then we're going to be able to just slowly but surely move a line across Spain, and uh, hopefully that'll work. Radio, reinforcement speed got, went up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. If we need radar stations, don't know what they do. Probably not. Um, infantry, don't know. Um, none of that seems kind of urgent. Okay. Uh, armor, not working on that right now. Land doctrine. Um, yeah, let's get out of supplies better. Like, if we're out of supplies, we will perform better. I think that's what that's saying. Uh, yep, we're able to hold our lines. That's fine. Pushing in up the top here. Not winning this bit of the battle, but hopefully some more people go and join it. Uh, we have air wings with no missions. You. Oh, it was you have no missions because I just set you up there. But I set you uh, up to the top here. Tactical bombers I set, like... I think you're still on Madrid, right? Uh, we'll see how that goes. Do they still have no mission? Two air wings are currently stationed in the airbase. None of the air wings can be transferred here. Does that work? Uh, I don't know. Free military. We got another military factory. I guess maybe we took over one. Uh, I guess we'll put you more into uh, inventory equipment. Right. Let's see how that goes. The fall of Nanjing. Uh, the capitalist, uh, the capital of the Republic of China, Nanjing, has been occupied by the forces of the Empire of Japan. Despite fierce resistance from the walled city's Chinese defenders, the Japanese troops managed to capture Zhongxian Gate and fought their way into the city. Sporadic gun fire can be heard, and several uh, fires are raging in different parts of the city. But most surviving Chinese forces have either withdrawn or been captured. Along with the capture of Shanghai, this is a significant victory for Japan in their war against China. Um, yeah, okay, they're taking quite a bit of uh, China. They're they're making a little. They're making. They're starting to eat. We're doing pretty well, I I have to say, against uh, Spain here. I'm happy with where we are. Where we are. Uh, what are you doing? You'd like our destroyer group. Um, oh, you're still on convoy ex on e convoy escort. That's fine. Right. Continue taking over thing. Our support weapons got better. New research slot. Um, we can make them even better. We get new weapons. Um, let's get some new infantry weapons. Seems about right. Air wings. I still don't know how to use you. Sorry. Um, how about I send my tactical bomber up the top here? Um, I think that's right. As I say, select all. All go up the top. Like, all attack basically this area. Does that work? Are they assigned now? I don't know. We have a free dockyard. Fantastic. We built an extra dockyard. Does that mean we're actually finishing all of our factories being built? I don't know. We'll put it towards building some more destroyers here. Um, actually, maybe we'll take a couple away from destroyers. Uh, we'll put it down to one. And then we're going to start building some battleships. We're going to start with two on there, and we're going to set it to higher priority. And that means we need chromium and steel. Who are we training for with steel? Well, it's Soviet Union. I'd like more steel, please. Okay. We're missing chromium. Who has chromium? Who, who do we like who has chromium? Soviet Union has chromium. Hey, Soviets. Let's take some more chromium. Are we looking on our construction? Uh, we're just building another um, naval dockyard. Cool. Uh, I want to build some more military factories. So let's build them in Porto. There we are. Right. Continue pushing our army forward. Everything seems all right. Looks like they have a few more troops than us, but we are holding the land that we've currently got, I think. It's just fine. What are you guys doing? Should you not be taking that bit of land? Or if you got a problem with it. I don't know. War effort, uh, that's army effort has gone up. That gives us extra research for army stuff. Um, motorization effort. So if motorized stuff, we get some more um, 
points, basically. You guys, I want you to take over that land. Cool. Now they can go and join a different front line. Uh, that's all right. That means that they can potentially help out over here now. Good. That works. That works for us a lot better. You I want you to go join the front line. Have uh, we got anyone else who's not doing anything? Nope. All right. So they're moving in. Computing machine is done. This means that we can start working on encryption and decryption. We want to do some decryption. want to find out what's going on in other countries. Okay, that's looking a, bit, a little bit better now. Uh, I'm actually going to move maybe those two troops to that bit of the front line. On you go. Go help out. See what you can do to make it work. Menguko has capitulated. Uh, Shang Kek Shek has announced that the cowardly Menjiang nation could no longer withstand the pressure from overwhelming presence of Chinese forces throughout the country. The Menjiang government chose to flee the country and has now gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and China is now in control of their home area. Though the war continues elsewhere, it's a great victory for China. If we go and have a look over here, China's getting a little bit bigger now. It's starting to eat other people. I like it. Right, continue pushing in. This is fine. Looks like we might actually eventually win this uh, little bit of a siege that's going on here. That allows us to push forward into our forward line where we want it to be. Cool. Are you doing something? Yeah, you're just kind of sitting on the line. That's alright. And you should eventually be able to take this one up the top there. Good. Good. That's where we want to be. We want to just be pushing forward. Uh, you guys... You'd probably also merge with... Can we merge... Uh, if we go to boat mode, can we merge all of our boats? Uh, boat mode. All boats. Um, is there like a merge button? Patrol, search and something. Uh, how about we send you over uh, here and then you can merge. There we are. Our air wings are still not doing anything because I don't know how to use them. There are no ace pilots in our countries yet. Pilots may be after start after promoted after missions. Okay. Select this air wing. And then I want you to go over here. You. Bomber. Over here. Does, is that them assigned? Or, are you, or is this saying we have some unused guys? You could be doing other stuff. I don't understand. Um, okay. Modify government. Uh, none of that seems like something I need to care about. Chief of Air Force. No, I don't understand how to use it. Chief of Army. Um, the vision training time going down would be nice. Yeah, we'll take that. Right. Uh, we, we've got to our front line. We actually finished it. We made our entire front line. Okay, um, I would like to you guys to work out um, a new plan. So I would like you to make an offensive line here and then start working out where you want to go. See where they think they need to be. I didn't tell them to go, did I? I just started creating an offensive line. That's all right. Oh, they started pushing us back. Um, okay. Um, in which case, why don't we get about 24 troops? Um, actually, let's clear all of your orders, right? Your only job now is to create a front line here. Right? You. You have new orders. You have to create a front line that stretches the entirety of there. All right. To do this, I will give you more troops than you currently have. I will give you this many troops. Okay. Everybody else, I'm assigning you to that front line. Go, go, go. Make it happen. Right. Still not entirely happy, but that's fine. And I would want you to make an offensive line here. I want him just to work out what he needs that to done to make that happen. What he needs to make that happen. Uh, let's... Instead of getting more motorized, let's get some more equipment. There we are. 
is getting some more um, push towards those things. German right claims Memel. German forces on the border posed to attack. Lithuania has given in to German ultimation, demanding the surrender of old Prussian territory of Memel. It's part of Lithuania and the Treaty of Versailles, but now being reintegrated into the region of Ostputin. Have reached the extent of German territorial ambitions in Europe? Experts are doubtful. So, uh, German Reich has taken some land from uh, Lithuania, so up there, I presume. Cool. Uh, you're okay for your plan? Okay, go for it. If you think you can do it, I'm all behind you. Need some more troops? Uh, we'll give you these three troops as a bonus. There we go. We'll reassign you. Uh, do you think you're alright? I think they're alright. Right. Oh, we lost some of the top right away because we didn't uh, reinforce up there. That's fine. As long as we don't get flanked, I think we should be alright. I just want to try and get some winning stuff happening here. We're going to push in. Yep. I really want a line that we can work from and then push forward. I don't want to have to worry about anything else. Okay. Um, right, so we're now pushing in from all sides here. Basically attempting to just push our way directly into Spain. Into uh, Galicia, into, um, what's it called? Karuna. Into Karuna. Let's get ourselves a new technology. Let's get ourselves some more mechanized stuff. In fact, we have unlocked in support battalions some mechanized stuff with radios. We can get some signal companies. Uh, okay, let's do it. Get some signal companies. Uh, and if we go to our production, there should be some new stuff we can build, I think. Yeah, we can get some motorized stuff built. Let's do that. Let's set you... Uh, let's remove a factory up there and then put the factory in there. Stick you up a little bit. Right, up to higher priority. We then want to, in our research and stuff here, we want to set up uh, some... Well, how do we say motorized infantry? Anything there? I guess we don't have any yet, but we want them to be building them. Oh, we'd have to make a motorized division. Um, yeah, sure, we'll make a motorized division. Uh, you can be being built up in Porto. There we go. And what is a motorized division exactly? Um, motorized division. Um, that seems fair. Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave it at that. What do we need? We need some rubber. Let's go get some rubber from... Who has rubber? I bet... Oh, I don't know. The Soviet Union? It doesn't have a lot of Yava. Of, of, of Yava. Uh, I don't know. Siam? British Yeah. I guess we should get some rubber from Brazil. We don't really need that much. Or we can get some from the Soviet Union. You know what? We'll get some from Soviets. That's fine. We'll get a very small amount of rubber from you. We're already getting a lot from the Soviets. So we might as well get what we can. I'll do. Um, air wings with no thing. I, I don't understand. So, does that work? Did that work? I don't understand. No. I don't. I don't. I don't understand how to make you work. Uh, do I? Oh, do I have to say like I want you to be? So do I want to say I want your tactical bomber? I want you to be doing close air support. In this area. That signed them. Alright, that works. Cool. Republican Spain took 11 states. Nationalist Spain was annexed. Lots of equipment has been seized. Okay, that's Treaty of Ceuta. Okay. You guys. Take that province. The end of the Spanish Civil War. With the surrender of the Nationalist forces, the Spanish Civil War has come to an end. The Republicans have emerged victorious, and a new era has begun for Spain. The war-torn country has suffered greatly in the fighting, and there is much rebuilding to be done. Good for Spain. Well, I mean, there would be much to be done if we weren't uh, completely ruining them. Okay, so you, I want to delete your, uh, what I want you to do. I want your new front line that you are in charge of to be kind of roughly half the front line. There we go. All that you can nicely cover. And then you, I want your new front line to be everything else. Go, 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 go. W move up, make a front line. We are getting pushed back, but that's alright. We're, we're, we're just re-maneuvering where we are. 
Uh, oh, you're having some trouble in that corner. We got three military factories. Um, put it towards the motorized units. Modified government. Um, tank only does tanks. Um, Chief of Air Force. Air support goes up. Sure, let's go for that. Still got three military factories. Um, just put as many as you can up here, I guess. Missing equipment production. Oh, what are we missing? Uh, towed artillery? None of those were missing. We've got all of those. Um, close air support and tactical bombers. Oh, okay. Um, did this be tactical bombers? Uh, I guess. Oh, there's close air support. And tactical bombers would just be bomb bombers, right? Uh, and we'll take away a couple of these. We'll go down to one. And that means that these guys now have their what we're doing and we'll put them at low priority. Cool. Three dockyards. Uh, let's put them all on our battleships. All on our battleships. Go really heavy on the battleships. Yeah, okay. Low manpower. We could possibly fix that in a bit. Insufficient resources. We need oil and steel. Soviets. Yes, you know what I'm after. I'm after oil and I'm after steel. Uh, you want to have all your factories producing trade goods. Yeah, sure. That sounds fine. Or just now. Um, okay. I want you to go and join the top part. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to you. I think you're going to die. Horribly. Uh, they've got some crossing front lines here. I actually want your front line to not cover quite that much. Just up to there. Are we about to disappear into non-existence? Maybe. Maybe. I think we're alright. I think we're alright. If we can hold what we currently have, we have not expanded at all. But, if we can hold what we currently have, that's alright. The fate of Czechoslovakia. German troops have crossed the Bohe into Bohemia and Moravia, ostensibly to restore order in regions in the wake of the collapsing Czechoslovakia government. In Prague, the occupying forces announced the creation of an autonomous protectorate within the German Reich. With German support, Slovakia has been declared independent under the leadership of Joseph Tiso. The nation of Czechoslovakia is no more. Okay. Equipment effort is done. Uh, let's start working on Doctrine Effect. Right. Um, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. I think we're fine. We might be able to hold our lines. That's all we really need to hope for. Zog submits to Italy. An ultimatum has been delivered to the Albanian government by the Italian diplomats demanding that they submit to a, compete, uh, to a complete uh, military occupation. King Zog has abdicated after realizing the futility of his existence and Albania will now be ruled in personal union under King Victor Emmanuel III. Italy looks to the Balkans. So all of that has just been conquered really quickly. Oh dear. We do have more troops than they do and hopefully we can hold it here. That's really all I'm hoping, is that eventually we get to the point where we can go hold, and then we can start moving forward. But right now we have issues. Decryption. Frequency analysis. Okay. Um, let's work on decryption. No, encryption, sorry. That works. Infantry equipment is done. Um, okay. Well, I guess we'll upgrade our mountaineers, because we have some of those. And then, yeah, does that mean all of our infantry are automatically, I guess they all automatically upgrade? Yeah, they all automatically upgrade, so that's fine. Cool, we'll try and hold the line. Looks like we are holding the line, in fact. That's good. Mostly. We're mostly holding the line. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Um... Can I get you guys? If I make an offensive line. Basically, I would want you to be there. That's where I want your new line to be. Actually, uh, I want your new line to be there. You can't. Yeah, there. Can we do that? That's why I want you to start planning. You're up for it. That's what he's telling me. He's telling me, yep, I'm up for that plan. Okay, do it. If you're up for that plan, go. 
he'll work out in his own time. He'll work out how he wants to actually get that to happen. Um, we're holding down there. Uh, what we want to do is we want to get our air support. We want to send it in. Uh, I think we want to send it in for... Um, yeah, both assisting in drowned combat over in that bit. There we go. And I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we'll see if we uh, die to Spain. See you then. Goodbye.